Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the concerns about neutral site games, can my fans afford to go? Will they want to go or would they rather enjoy it from the comforts of home? What if you had the best of both worlds? That's what you have here at Cowboys Stadium, the Taj Mahal of Stadium, a ginormous HD video board where you can not only watch the game live, but then watch all the replays in spectacular high definition. What better environment for this neutral site flash? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Arizona State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 37. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle in space. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's out of bounds around the 45 yard line. defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Wilson, the return man. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Black's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. Wants to throw outside. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Bring him down at the 44. Nice run there. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. Smith on the give, heading for the corner. He's at the 30 for the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. 
first and goal. made at the two. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Touchdown, Sun Devils! Tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Cornhuskers were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Nebraska, they remain red hot. The Cornhuskers take it by three. Elsewhere, Baylor in action over in Waco. And for North Texas, they find their way to the promised land first. Hester is a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He takes this opportunity to get it into the end zone. The mean green are on top, 7-0. And for Arizona State, they should move up now in the top 25 if they win. Matthews looks ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the 6. Brought down at the 28. The Sun Devils are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at the 36. the stop right around midfield when you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that you've got the defense right where you want them quick throw incomplete one of his receiver that was textbook coverage by the defense that's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play but it doesn't always happen second down 10 to go ball on the 50 Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down right around the 34. Well, that's a big-time play there. And as a quarterback, you're willing to take certain chances with certain wide receivers. It's, you're not going to put the ball in the coverage like that very often. But if you have confidence and trust and you've worked out a lot with that wide receiver, you know what his abilities are, and you know that you have confidence that he's going to be able to come down, regardless of putting it up in traffic, you're willing to take that chance. And that time, that's exactly what we saw. They'll get him for a loss. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 11. Seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's taken down at the one yard line.
here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. Powell fields it at the three. He got hit hard. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Up the middle. And they get nice yardage on that run. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That'll make it second and four. Makes it to the 47. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. That's a deep ten on the ball. First down. These tackles around the 33 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle right around the 20. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. The Sun Devils running back. Sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up and trying to get back in the ballgame. Zips it to the tight end, and they'll get him in the backfield. incomplete sometimes when you throw it that hard you can't control the accuracy all that well he'll get it under control though in time fourth down so the kicking team is on the field they'll try for three Arizona State is looking to go up by three the kick is up and it is good Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update Reese what is happening in Waco this is a game we've been watching closely all day long the mean green are on top, 7-3. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 36. Finds his man and they 
take him down immediately. He fights forward to about the 43. Harris awaits the snap. He fields it at the 17. He's taken down at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arizona State is up a field goal. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That'll make it 77. quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. to the back quickly off his hands incomplete Grant to punt and he's taken down the 37 yard line Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's at midfield. Receivers got the first down. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 16-yard line, first down. Run inside, stop quickly. Nowhere to go on the delay. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Offense. 
These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Steps up in the pocket. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Notre Dame is looking to tie things up. It's up. Looks long enough. And he splits the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Mean Green are on top. 17-3. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 29-yard line. Third down. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. So we've played two quarters. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Kick slide, kick slide, get your hands on them, keep them at an angle, keep them off balance. How about the big fellas up front just absolutely stifling the pass rush? We, we talk all the time about how defensive Defense wins championships and the guys in the trenches. How about the hog mollies up front? I mean, my goodness. That quarterback, he could bake a pie, feed it to him in the pocket. He had so much time to sit back there, nice, warm, and cozy. Might as well get him a bottle of milk and some and a blankie back there in the pocket because he was just sitting back there nice and protected. Anybody can deal in that situation. I've seen Reese Davis deal in that situation. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. It's stinky. <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25 yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. And 
and he's tackled around the 37 yard line. First down. taken down behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 36-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. And he throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. yard line second down and he's hit before he can go anywhere Rifles it right side. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. He fires. This is the 12th play of this drive. There's a strike complete, and down he goes at the 11-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Pitches, and he's got room. Touchdown, Arizona State. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. It's still in the third quarter, but we've seen a great game the whole way. I wouldn't be surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. And he adds the extra point. Matthew has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 49. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Tackle at the 43. That makes it 33. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. And he's taken down at the 39. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Brought down at the 26 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Watch two, watch two, watch two. He has some room. Makes it to the 17. And he tackles him hard at the 15. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. And they got him for a loss. And this is the 13th play of this drive. through his hands. Third down again. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12.
This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Bears lead 20 to 17. Thanks, Reese. 17-13, our score here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They'll drop in for a loss. Arizona State is up four. They'll get him for a loss. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-13, Sun Devil. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. throw we might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop Jack back to return it Jack fields at the 48 he's tackled at the 49 yard line Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. That makes it second and two. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 16. That makes it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Steps out of bounds at about the 13. That'll make it second and seven. And he's tackled right away. Spread the field with five wide. Touchdown! And that gives them the lead. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. They're at the eight. Second down. point he makes the PAT here's an update from the studio and restate 
Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. Let's take a look at this one again. The Bears strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. Clark splashed his sticky fingers as he's hauled in a touchdown. Baylor leads it 27-17. Just a field goal difference race, 20-17 here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Arizona State's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from this game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nice run up the middle. Black gets six yards after taking it himself on the option. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He tackles him for a loss. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. And a quick throw. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Harris picks up two yards with a carry. The Sun Devils will use their first time out of the half. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Notre Dame is up a field goal. Up the middle for a nice game. Harris gets six yards on the carry. The Sun Devils call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Makes it to the 27. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. From the 29-yard line, second down. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Gains 
inches his way to the 10 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 2017, Notre Dame. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.